I'm joined here today by Jorgen DeCastro, set to fight Greg Hardy, coming up real soon at UFC on uh, ESPN 8. Thanks so much for joining me, Jorgen. How are you? Thank you, my man. Thank you for having me. Of course. Good. Feeling good. Of course. We're glad to hear it. Uh, first things first, talk about this fight with Greg Hardy. What was your reaction when uh, I assume your manager came to you and told you you'd be fighting Greg Hardy next? Yeah, I, I, actually, I actually asked for this fight. So uh, it was in October that I fought, and like two months later, I had no fight, and and I was thinking, I said, you know what? I think the good fight to have right now is Greg Hardy. The guy got named. Uh, uh, he just fought the number seven guy in the world, so people are going to watch him. And I don't want to be, I mean, I'm in this game to, to fight the best. And he's he's involving good. He's getting better. He got a good name. So I, I asked for this fight. So I text I text Mick. I text my manager. I say, I want to fight Greg Hardy next. Were you surprised when the, the UFC actually did the fight? Yeah, I was I was actually surprised. Yeah, but they do it. They ask me. They ask me a couple of times. Are you sure you want to do that? I said, yeah, I want to fight Greg Hardy. That's the guy I want to fight. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's a good fight. I like the style. I like the the matchup. And so uh, a lot of people when they talk about Greg Hardy, they say he's athletic. He's the former football player and everything. You yourself, as an actual fighter, do, do you look at him as kind of this football player that came over to MMA, or do you see him as like kind of like a legit fighter, if that makes sense? No, I think I think he's a good fighter. I mean, I saw his fight twice in the, in the contender series. I, I saw him fight like three times in UFC. He's getting better. His time is getting better. He's mixing up kicks and punch. He's, he's, he's moving good. So I'm taking him like, a, I think he's a good fighter. I think he's going to do good. I just don't think against me he's not going to do good. But I think in the future he's going to do really good. <laughs> and so that we know that whoever's fighting Greg Hardy, there, there's a lot of talk, you know, about Greg Hardy and about his past and everything. What's your social media look like? Do you have a lot of fans reaching out to you, telling you that they want you to beat him because of this and that? I mean, what's what's this build up like for you? Yeah, I cut it. I cut it ready to chase them, and right soon we get a fight. Soon we announce it. All my interviews, I told them, and I told everybody, I don't, I don't feed off negative and hate. So the, to me, fight is fight. Uh, I'm fighting Greg Gary athlete. I'm, I don't care about his personal life. There's not gonna, and no pressure me on, on my camp or what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight an athlete, that, and that that's it, man. I, people will, will talk, will text, will tell me what they wanna do, but in the end of the day, I'm gonna get in the cage and fight. So I'm not at no pressure on me. Is it difficult to put that stuff to the side? Because we've heard from some guys they get messages all the time, every day. Is it difficult for you, or is it just like you know what? It's just a fight, and you gotta focus on that. No, it's pretty easy, man. I mean, to me, it's pretty easy, man. I'm, I'm a, if you know me on a daily basis, I'm a pretty cool guy. I don't get mad. I don't. I don't really do. I don't. I mind my business, and and people people can see, do. Uh, everywhere you go, people want to tell you how to do stuff and how you do it, and, and that's what you should do. And uh, it's up to you. I don't really. I I focus on my on my craft, man. I don't really. I block everything else. All right, and I want to talk about your last fight a little bit against Justin Taffa. That was your UFC debut. You fly down to Australia, get this incredible first-round knockout. Could you have gotten a better debut in the UFC? No, man, that was perfect. If you if you wrote, if you wrote a script, could have could have went better than that. That was perfect, man. Like and and not just like that. I love I love Australia, man. They treat me good down there. That was good. The uh, Justin Taffa, like Justin Taffa, too, good guy. Uh, such a such a humble guy. Come from a come from a humble beginning. I think he's going to do good too in the UFC. That was perfect. And uh, we saw Justin Taffa in the fight. At one point, he does start getting aggressive, and that's where you get the counter. Were you surprised to see him come at you so aggressively? No, we knew he would get aggressive. I mean, he's three, he is 3-0. and He was 3-0, and fighting in the hometown, like 57,000 people. I mean, they, they, the pressure was on him. Uh, I, I, we knew he would get aggressive, especially if he touched me. We knew he'd get a killing stint. So we are count on that. And uh, what did you think of the fan reaction? Because it seemed like after the fight, the fans uh, the fans seemed to like you. I mean, it didn't seem like there was too much negativity with the fans. No, that was pretty cool, man. I was I was pretty impressed. Because if you come down here I mean, where I live in Massachusetts, you beat me up, people are not going to like you. <laughs> but <laughs> I, that was, they were pretty cool. Uh, all the staff, everybody in Australia was pretty cool with me. And I, I, I'm always about respect, too, man. I'm... Uh, that's what we do. I mean, this is a two-man sport. One win, one lose, and, and defense should should see that. I mean. And uh, during the fight, obviously, you land the big counter punch, and he goes down. What was going through your mind? What did you see the opening? Was it was it muscle memory? I mean, kind of talk to me a little bit about that finish. Yeah, we drilled that. We drilled that 
step back, right hand, left hook, like over and over again. Because we saw three of his last fight, he will touch the the opponent, and then he'll wild come with a with a. He did that against Juan Adams last fight. He will come with an uppercut. So, but but his chin will be open. So, we knew that if he touched me, he'll come aggressive with the uppercut, try to finish me. And I saw the open. I, I mean, I'm I'm very confident in my power. I know if I touch someone's chin, they're going down. So I just had a, that was like, we both threw it too. So my timing and, and my speed was, was on point. So that's it. Uh, did, did you know, when you saw him fall down, because he fell down pretty hard, did you know he was out? Or did you think like, oh, may, maybe he might still get back up? No, I knew he was out. As soon as I touched his jaw, I knew he was out. And like I said, I'm a little short, but I, I, know, I, got, I, I know I got power, man. I, I know I got a ton of power. If I touch people, they, they will go now, especially for four ounces of gloves. For sure. And uh, we do know you're from Cape Verde. I believe you're the first fighter in the UFC to come from Cape Verde. What does that mean to you? That's great, man. That's mean, uh, I mean, I make history, man. You, nobody can take that from me. And, and I hope I open it up for, for a lot of more kids and different people coming up, man. And so I believe you are from Cape Verde, but you did spend some time in Portugal. It seems like a lot of people from Cape Verde tend to go to Portugal. Well, what's sort of the relationship there? Like, why do we see so many people go over to Portugal? I, I'm actually mixed. So my father is Portuguese. My mom is Cape Verde. Oh, okay. Because, yes, yeah. Because uh, Cape Verde used to be under Portuguese colony. So Portugal used to take care of Cape Verde and stuff. So we we automatically, like, attached together. So I born in Cape Verde, but then I end up moved to Portugal. I still have a house down in Portugal. Probably go down there in July. So you, yeah, we all the same, and mm -hmm. and that's why that's why I carry two flags because right. I do have Portugal in my heart all the time. And so uh, now we know that you're in the United States. You're in Massachusetts. Do you live here full time now in the United States? Living forever, yes, forever, Mass. They, they the city adopt me. They treat me good. I mean. They, they love me around here. I love everybody, too. They take care of me. And uh, I love here, man. I'm here to stay. And uh, what was the process like to get to the United States? Because I assume you had to get the green card and everything. I mean, what was the process like to come uh, live in the States? Yeah, my family, all my, my family from my mother's side, from my, for the side of my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather, uncles, they all live here since, like, 82, I think. So, oh, okay. so yeah, so we all pass. They'll, they'll get the, the paper then. Pass on man to my mom, my mom to me, and and like that. All right, and uh, so so why Massachusetts? Is this specifically for MMA, or is that where your family ended up? Why specifically Massachusetts? Yeah, that's where my family ended up. My family is from Brockton, actually. Uh, all there's all the Cape and people come to Brockton. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, they all. So that's where I came from originally. I came from Brockton, uh, but then I ended up moved down here for River. But yeah, that's what's because my family live here, so that's why I come here. All right, and uh, coming back to this fight with Greg Hardy a little bit, I mean, a, a lot of people, they talk about that he's athletic, he's quick. I assume you've watched him fight and everything. Do you agree that he's athletic? Because it seems people say he's fast and other people think he's stiff. What's your kind of takeaway when you watch him fight? I, I think he's athletic. I mean, I think he's very athletic and very powerful. That's that's it. I think he got a good right hand. Uh, he's, like I say, last couple of fights, he's mixed it up. But I just think he's super athletic and strong. I mean, someone is... I weigh two eight or two nine. I don't know how much he weighed. I mean, of course, they got they have like he have he have power. If he touch you, you're gonna feel it. But I think overall, I'm a better fighter. And that's what I'm looking to prove. I mean, I think I'm I'm a better wrestler, better jujitsu, and a better kickboxer. And and, I, and I'm pretty fast too. And and I'm not I'm not scared to get hit. So I think I'm gonna bring the fight to him. And I think I think I'm gonna get it done. And uh, as you go into a fight like this, people are obviously they're going to talk a lot about Greg Hardy and stuff like that. Do you think people are talking too much about Greg Hardy and maybe not enough about yourself? No, I'm I'm okay with that. <laughs> I mean, let's let let people let people talk about him. Let people tune in to watch Greg Hardy fight. But I guarantee, in the end of the night, they're going to be talking about me. For sure. What is a win in this fight? Because we saw you get the huge KO in your first fight. Say so you get another huge KO in this one. What does this do for your career at this point? I don't know. I mean, I think I think that's the, that's the thing. I think that everybody, and I think including UFC, think that Greg Hardy is the man, you know. They really think he can be a superstar. So me go down there, beat him, is like put me in the spot that, yeah, I'm the man. <laughs> if you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. So I think this is going to put me in a really good spot.
for sure. And now, right now you're in training camp. I assume you're going over strategies. Is this training camp different from any other camp or is this sort of similar to what you usually do? Yeah, we you know we usually focus on a specific opponent, but I like this camp because like Gregard is a striker. I mean he's a he's a street fighter, so we focus more on, on, on strike, pad work, kickbox, a lot of rounds of box with the big guys. So I'm sparring a lot, but we're not so much focused on we still do wrestling in Jiu Jitsu, but not like if I was fighting like a wrestling, that would be like a miserable camp. That would be like a wrestling every day. When I fought in contender series, but that was the worst camp of my life. Was wrestled with all different guys, like two, three, four different guys, like for hour and a half, get my ass beat all the time. For for Gregard, it's pretty simple. I don't think he can take me down. If he take me down, he's not gonna be able to keep me down. And so we focus more on on the strike department and be fast and be strong and lift away. So this means I like this camp. All right. So I have just one last question for you. Pretty obvious one, but how do you see this fight with Greg Hardy playing out? <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go down there, and you know, I'm always, I always say that I'm willing to take one, to give one. That's exactly what I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna go there, throw a punch, and swing to the fence, and I hope he engage with me too. All right. Well, uh... I want a wild, I want a wild fight. That's what you want to do. I want a wild, <laughs> I want a wild brawl. That's what I want. All right. I know that's what the fans want too. I know that's what everybody's looking forward to. Thank you so much for the time, man. I really appreciate it. It's gonna be a great fight. We look forward to it. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it.